Is it's a boy here. Welcome to part two of Destroyers vs. Sluggers. We are still scoreless, and the combined hits for both teams, there's only four of them. Phoebe and McGuire is up to bat. He is one for two in this game. Here he goes. Has that one up, and it's past Snyder. It is past Snyder. Phoebe and McGuire might be the clutch one in this one. Here is Brad Ortiz, 0 for 3. <laughs> um, just chops it. Ortiz will be out at first, but Fibian McGuire is at first, a third, and a good fly out will get Fibian McGuire in. Randy Jackson up to bat, 0 for 3. Fouls that one off. And that will be a hit. Amphibian McGuire's home. It's one nothing destroyers. Carter Lopez up to bat. 0 for 3. Has that one up? And are you kidding me? It is the clutch bat of the destroyers. Runner heading home. He'll make it. An RBI double for Carter Lopez. Daniel Martin up to bat. 0 for 3. Has that one up? And are you kidding me? More clutchness from the Destroyers. Stopping at second is Martin. It's an RBI double for Daniel Martin. Jack Bradley up to bat. 0 for 3. Has that one up? It's caught by Flores. Martin is heading for third. He will make it. Here is Patrick. One for three. Takes a ball. And we'll get a hit there. It's a, it's a single. A RBI single for Max. Patrick. Here is Axel Richards. Oh, for three. Is that one up? It's going to be caught by T. Snyder. The clutch ninth inning for the destroyers. Will the sluggers be able to do anything about it? Here's more. 0 for 2. Takes a strike. Chops that one. Brad Ortiz grabs it. Throws it to first. And more is out. Here's Ramirez. 1 for 3. Is that one up? And it's caught by Carter Lopez. We are down to the final out. Higgins is up to bat. 0 for 3. Takes a strike. Is that one up? And that will be the game. Game over. Destroyers win with a clutch ninth inning. I don't know how they came up with it. But the Destroyers did it a clutch ninth inning. Four runs in the ninth inning. Wow. The clutch bats of the Destroyers coming in clutch in the last inning of the game. So we look at the stats. Nine strikeouts. Four wheels at night. Um, only allowing two hits. And 68 of his pitches were strikes. And he has 72 pitches. So that's it for him. And then we take a look at the rest of the Destroyers. Play the Destroyers um, batters stats. And then for the Sluggers, T. Myers. Um, he will take the yell. He had two strikeouts. Um, allowed seven hits. Which most of them came at the end. In that ninth inning. 51 of his pitches were strikes, or were going to be strikes, and he has 61 pitches. Um, four and runs, obviously. Um, I don't think that was really the way he wanted it to end. And then we will take a look at the rest of the, the Sluggers batters' stats. 
So here we go into the Baseball 9 post-game show. Here we go. Um, a few things there. Get the recruit ticket. And the Destroyers are still the undefeated um, team. Which is amazing. The, the the Destroyers are just doing amazing. What they're doing right now is, be, is artwork. It's amazing. The Sluggers stay in third. Um, because the Old Boys lost and the Evergreen lost. Which is very interesting. I wonder who they lost to, honestly. Um. Wonder who they lost to, actually. Um. Yeah, well, Rising Stars and Snipers. The, at the bottom of the league, they won. And the Heroes lost. They are now on a two-game losing streak. So, we now take a look at the stats. We look at the RBI race. And Wheeler still only has 28. Um, Martin has 32 now after that clutch ninth inning. So does Max Patrick. He has 26. Bradley is still at 25, but he's, but still, you know, what it is when the destroyers are on fire and they're loaded and ready. Also, Joel Webster has 17 RBIs now. He's in a decent spot in the RBI race um, for the Destroyers as well. So, yeah. So, yeah. And then hits. In that Destroyers versus Sluggers game, there wasn't many hits until the ninth inning. Um, and Daniel Martin still leads the league in hits with some hits. Not a lot. Uh, he leads the league. He leads. He leads Jay Scott and hits. Um. By the most, the most hits by a player who is not on the Destroyers. It's Scott with 48, and Daniel Martin leads him by 13 hits. So he's in a pretty good spot right now. When we look at the average, and after that um, game, Daniel Martin's average lowers down a bit. So, let's just say it wasn't the best hitting game for any of the Destroyers or Sluggers um, there. And then runs. Well, that clutch knife inning raked in some runs for these players, as you can see here. Raked in some runs right there, and then pitching. Um, Wilson Knight TRA went from, down from 0 0.18 to 0 0.15. Um, after getting nine strikeouts to add on to his total, and now he has 53 this season. And looking at the strikeout race. And now Wilson Knight is four different strikeouts. Myers grabbed some strikeouts in that game as well. And he's creeping a bit closer. And then ERA. Myers. Um, not sure if he raised. Not sure if he fell. But um, he's at 3.64 right now. So, yeah. Then we look at page two. Look, not the runs. Probably not the runs are going to work the best, but. Yeah, but uh, um, apparently, um, Antonio Tyler and I Henderson lead the league in hit batters. So um, that's interesting, but still, we look at, um, we look, Rising Stars are the next matchup. And the Rising Stars are 7th in the league. And they are bringing C-Lane. And wow. The Destroyers are bringing Sean Ramirez. So we look at the pitching. And Lane. Where is he? 
lane. Um, maybe it will say when I go here. No, it doesn't. So, C lane is gonna be the ah. Uh, He's going to be the Rising Stars pitcher. Let's see. Can I find him? There's Reyes. Henderson. Lane. A 5.23 ERA. The 36th worst in the league. I mean, 36th best. He is basically the 5th worst ERA in the league. With 11 strikeouts, um, which 11 strikeouts leads him to be, um, tied with Ellis, Cruz, and Johnson, and Davis. So, while Ramirez, he has 61 strikeouts, he was the first pitcher in the league to get 60 or more strikeouts. And then Mike Taylor and Ant Brown followed. Um, and then ERA, Sean Ramirez is a 0 0.53, third in the league. So, pitching matchup is pretty uneven. And, yeah, so, but we'll see when we get into that game. It will be the 32-0 Destroyers versus the 13-20 rising stars hope y'all enjoyed the video guys and pretty much um peace out we only got 10 more games to go 10 so um hope y'all enjoyed the video guys and pretty much peace out 10. also it's going to be a home game for the destroyers so peace out